Good morning, friends and fellow traders, and happy Friday. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for July 17th, 2020. Yesterday, we saw kind of a slow, very grindy kind of day, a little bit of profit taking coming in. There seems to be a little bit of a rotation starting to happen from some of the high flying techs into more defensive sector stocks. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, and let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, guys, we had, well, yesterday we had a mixed bag of earnings reports. A little bit of back and forth, a little bit of pressure here and there. Um, saw a little bit of a pullback here in the Dow. But honestly, when you take a look at the technicals of the chart, uh, no matter where you land right now, if you take a look at the or how you feel about this market, if you take a look at the technicals, we didn't really suffer any technical damage in uh, this chart yesterday. So holding up in its trend. One thing I will note is that we do have a little bit of a concern here if we take those all-time highs and draw a line down here that is the perfect downtrend hit and that possibility that we pull back in that lower high location here in the chart we'll have to wait and see but honestly this is more of that symmetrical triangle and we are trying to decide do we have enough energy to poke out to the upside and break through or will we go this way in that symmetrical triangle so keep a close eye on that i'm not really sure what the answer is to that but we'll want to watch that pretty closely one thing you do want to make note of is that we did hold up we didn't break back down through the 200 day moving average but we still have a little bit of concern a little bit of resistance that we're fighting here in that island reversal here on the Dow. So you can see that island up here. We still seem to be having a little bit of trouble with that overall. So keep on keep an eye on that reversal pattern as we try to push back up this morning. This morning, even after kind of some disappointing news in coronavirus where we hit a, a brand new record high of infections, we are and uh, kind of disappointing earnings yesterday from um, from Netflix, we see the market wanting to rally this morning. We've got futures up just slightly here in the Dow, trying to push up as we head into uh, another pretty big round of bank earnings that includes bank, uh, BlackRock this morning. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely. Anything is really possible in this market. We also have a uh, couple of big um, economic reports that the market may be waiting on to react to, and we'll talk about that in just a second. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY rallying up, trying to test the breakout of that island reversal, and just so far has not been able to get that done. However, when we look at this chart and just kind of remove a lot of the noise out of this, we see a trend is in play here in the chart. We can also see that we're also dealing with that same situation right in here. We may be trying to get just a little bit better than this, uh, better than the Dow here, poking through, depending on how you draw that line, trying to break out of that bigger downtrend and hold on so let's keep a close eye on uh, this resistance high right here to see whether or not we can pop through that if we can actually build enough energy to break through that then uh, more upside is likely coming um, in the market we'll have a gap above right over here to fill and s p 500 could move um, up into that so watch that closely let's take a look at the nasdaq qqq qqq um, there's just nothing bearish here in this chart as of yet but we have seen a little bit of a decline here in the in the indexes and there seems to be a little bit of a willingness to sell off 
some of the tech sector stocks that have been really high flying. And I think there might actually be an institutional rotation out of some of these stocks into more defensive sector stocks. And we'll look at those in just a bit. But um, just kind of a little bit of a shift starting to happen here. Now, the Netflix earnings last night, it's interesting that we're looking for a positive open this morning, even though we have Netflix um, substantially lower. Um, so we'll want to watch that pretty closely today to see if there's some additional pressure that may come into the NASDAQ. And if there is, that may make it difficult for the overall indexes to rise. So keep a close eye on that uh, today. But right now, nothing in this chart that uh, says anything particularly bearish. All we're doing is getting a light pullback, still holding trends, still holding support levels in the chart. Nothing in here suggests that bearishness. All of our technicals are still lining up for upside moves. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM has been kind of an interesting chart in that it has always been uh, underloved by the market. In this entire rally, it's been absolutely underloved. But we can see that it's starting to perk up here just a little bit. And there may be some interest in um, from institutions trying to pick up some of these small caps looking for um, some of a, well, maybe a little bit more leverage, I guess, um, in trading here that they may recover here a bit more. So we've got this little W formation and notice that we've popped above that W formation. We're trying to hold on to it. What's interesting about that is we continue to struggle um, right against that 200 day moving average. We've we failed it before several times and we still are under our 500 day moving average in the chart. So we want to make note of that. And once again, we also want to make note that if we kind of draw a trend line here, we are struggling against that downtrend um, in the chart to see whether or not we can break through and hold up. So watch that closely. One of the things that's helping IWM considerably is the financials. The financials are starting to perk up just a little bit, but we've had such a mixed bag in those financials that it, it it's still questionable. So watch that closely. Let's take a quick look at the VIX. This continues to perplex me a little bit, how the market can continue to run and run and run and run and show, give us the impression that there is absolutely nothing wrong in our economy, yet at the same time continue to show such significant fear in the market with the VIX being so elevated. And as you can see, um, as much as we try and try and try to show bullishness that there's nothing wrong with the market, we seem to be unable to break down below that 200 day moving average in the VIX. So as we continue to try to hold on here, keep in mind that we do have a downturn going on. That 50 day moving average is declining. But it really wouldn't take much of a news report or an event to really kick that to the upside. So keep a close eye on that. And what that means is we have to remain very focused on price action and flexible in this market because it could shift on the dime if there is that report, that news event that um, could um, bring out those bears. So watch that closely. And remember, when those bears come out, they come out hard. So watch that closely as we head into the weekend. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 continues to give me a little bit of a concern because as you can see, we are pegged up here in the bearish reversal zone. Um, we can linger up here for periods of time, but keep in mind, Anytime we're up in this area, we tend to see that pullback uh, come in the market. So I wouldn't be surprised at, at all to see a little pullback coming in the market. It may not happen today. It may be next week we see that little bit of pullback. But let's watch that closely. We also obviously have to consider that the market could just fuel itself up on earnings reports. Um, analysts continue to push down estimates. They continue to push down estimates well below what companies had last year for earnings. And um, 
when they do that, it makes it easy for these companies to hit those earnings estimates. And um, that continues to fuel the market higher. So a bit of a manipulation, if you ask me, but that's just my opinion on that. And um, we're continuing to see that trend going on as we enter uh, this earnings season. So that could prevent this from pushing down. I don't want to give the impression that we have to pull back. We don't have to pull back. Watch that carefully, though, because there is that possibility of that occurring. Let's take a look look at um, T2101. I've been mentioning that here late, lately. Um, T2101 is the absolute breadth index. And as you can see, we actually saw on a day yesterday where we saw a little bit of selling, we actually saw uh, the absolute breadth increasing. And that gives me just a little bit of a concern. Let me go here. There we go. And if we look here, we're trying to, to break this downtrend in the absolute breadth. But we seem to be getting uh, big spikes. We get the big up spikes on selling days. We did have a big buying update um, yesterday. And then we had an, an additional update um, or, or the day before yesterday, an additional update yesterday, but that was mixed with a considerable amount of selling. So uh, it's a tough call in here. If we were to get a big selling day, I, I would expect this to kind of spike up. So watch that closely as we kind of deal with that, that market breadth. We may be seeing a little bit more um, uh, a, a few more stocks trying to enter some leadership and holding the market up. That's a good sign. And if that can continue, we may continue to rally here in the market. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And we do have a considerable number of things um, to think about um, on this day um, in news reports. First off, we've got housing starts. Now, analysts are expecting a big surge in housing starts. We had um, um, yesterday, we had for a brief period of time, um, the 30-year mortgage rate dropped below 3% for the first time in history. So um, they're expecting a surge in those housing starts and numbers today, and that would be warranted with such uh, low interest rates. So watch that closely. And then we also have consumer sentiment coming out, and they're looking for that to hold up quite well um, also, so watch that closely today. On the earnings front, we have um, quite a few earnings, uh, 28 companies reporting earnings, with several notables to, to pay attention to. A-A-L-Y, Alley, whoops, A-L-L-Y. Um, Alley Financial um, reporting today, it looks like it's gapping up slightly this morning or trying to open about um, the high uh, level yesterday, so keep an eye on that. BLK is also reporting this morning and it looks like they are gapping just ever so slightly higher, uh, maybe about to open right up here at these highs, trying to break out to all time highs. Keep an eye on BlackRock here um, as um, we progress through the morning. We have uh, Citizens Financial. Citizens Financial will be reporting today and it looks like they're gapping just modestly higher here this morning. Um, KSU, Kansas City Southern, is also reporting this morning. Keep an eye on that. We've got a wide bid ask spread. No report here yet, it looks like. Um, keep an eye on that as this pushes back up to test some resistance highs in the chart. Um, and uh, State Street is also reporting this morning and we'll want to keep an eye on that looks like it is indicating um, to open about where it closed maybe this hasn't reported yet keep an eye on that um, this stock as you can see has been in a nice little rising move and also um, struggling with some price resistance in the chart here so watch that closely on how that might report today so with that everyone let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that if you guys wouldn't mind um, if you could do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up and I just 
want to say thank you so much to all of you who have subscribed to the channel. I truly, truly appreciate it. It humbles me every day um, in these comments. And I want to, uh, you know, apologize to everyone as well. The last couple of days I have been so busy, I haven't been able to answer those comments, but I will get to that today. And I want to um, also ask everyone if you find these videos helpful, if you could please click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment to help this channel keep growing. And thank you so much, guys. You are awesome. I truly appreciate it. So let's take a look at some of these stocks. And some of these stocks um, might be a little bit of a surprise to you um, because I'm seeing a lot of rotation into defensive sector type stocks. So um, please keep in mind, everyone, that every time I show a stock in these videos, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell a security. You have to do your own due diligence and decide whether or not these stocks might be right for you. Let's take a look at utilities. XLU. Interesting yesterday that we saw um, XLU showing bullishness. Now, utilities would normally be that real safety play um, starting to pick up where um, traders and investors are looking for that dividend yield overall. And we're seeing that starting to perk up here. You can see we've broken the downtrend rallying up we've got this little w type formation we're breaking through that resistance level we're showing bullishness in the chart um xlu um, might be a place to look keep an eye on that pretty interesting chart overall and um, might want to look at some of those um, utilities that seem to be perking up um, and looking pretty darn good. Also, take a look at energy. XLE, I've placed an alert here on energy, and energy trying to get a little um, upside going here, breaking this downtrend, and I'm watching this closely in here as we hold this price support. If we can hold that price support in there and maybe start turning up, um, may want to take a look at some of the energy sector stocks if they start coming back around. I think everyone believes that fuel prices will be higher in the future. Gas prices will be higher in the future. And it may even be something that would be more of a, um, a longer term buy and, and hold situation uh, because we would expect the economy to recover from this. Um, eventually and start to see those energy prices surge back up so keep an eye on that I, I would also suggest I'm going to go to notice I'm showing a lot of the uh, spider select sec, uh, sectors here but if we take a look at XLF um, you might want to look at some of the financial sector we are also seeing some bullishness starting to emerge here in the financials so we had that little W formation here again, pushing up through the center line here. Notice we're holding up okay. I have actually started a position in XLF and I intend to add to this as this trade develops. So keep a close eye on this. Um, if that can hold in here, we might look for some upside in that. And I won't just, just note that this is very, very similar. This pattern that I'm showing here is very, very similar to what occurred right over here. Break that downtrend, rally up, consolidate a little bit, and then we start moving out to the upside. So watch that closely. If you have any interest, you could also go to some of those direct financial companies like Goldman Sachs or whatever that are included in this, in this sector um, to look for um, that bullishness if you want to hold an individual stock. Um, take a look at... Um, um, at space, SPCE, Virgin Galactic, nice move yesterday um, in the chart, and it looks like it's gapping up again this morning. Now, what I want to do, and I had an alert on this, and I missed this move yesterday, uh, didn't catch that trade, and we're gapping up this morning. So I'm going to be watching this as this breaks through this resistance. If that can hold up here, Pull back, rest, consolidate as we move back into this trend. I will be looking for the next opportunity to maybe pick that up. This is more of a speculation trade, but looks like a pretty good setup overall. So keep a close eye on that chart. Another place we might want to look, we're starting to see some bullishness grow in some of these old defensive sector stocks that are... Um, good divvy payers. So um, Coca-Cola, 
starting to break its downtrend, starting to hold on to support. Now, keep in mind, it has an upcoming earnings report. We'll want to pay attention to that. But right now, breaking up in here, maybe holding into some support, we might want to keep an eye on that. Take a look at like KHC. We identified this the other day in right way options popping up here. And as you can see, breaking through some resistance levels in the chart, pushing on through. It's one of those big divvy payers that it's starting to show some good signs. So breaking through, watch any rest or pullback in here sets up an opportunity for continued upside. We could also look at um, other um, in, in that sector that are just looking um, like they're turning back around. MDLZ, um, Mondelez. Mondelez trying to turn back around here. We've got this little W formation forming in here. We're trying to push up through some resistance levels in the chart. Keep an eye on that. Um, it seems there is a bit of a rotation into some of these sector trades. So watch those closely um, overall. Um, you can also keep an eye, um, I think, on stocks like Kimberly Clark. Kimberly Clark, another defensive sector stock. As you can see, we are pressing, 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 pressing against resistance here in the chart. Kimberly's been held down by this resistance for a long period of time. One of the things that you'll notice when we if we can break through a large resistance level like that, we tend to get a, a nice sustained rally. So watch that in here if that can hold. Kimberly Clark, a big dividend payer. And last but not least, take a real quick look at some of the um, telecoms. Um, AT&T trying to perk up here, come up out of this bottom, big divvy pair. Um, starting to perk up, break that downtrend, hold a support up in here, and there may be some opportunity here in AT&T, as well as um, Verizon. Verizon started to perk up yesterday, breaking that downtrend here. So those um, big divvy payers are starting to come up a little bit. We might want to watch some of those defensive type sector stocks. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks for watching. I wish you all all a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Please, everyone, be safe. Um, this coronavirus situation is nothing to mess with. Keep yourself safe, your family safe. I want to wish you all the best, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Have a great weekend, everyone.